Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra and this is your first time here. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here. I'm going to be unboxing the Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. I believe this one might be the uh, box back from August because I arrived really late. Uh, so I received this box right before I left for a trip. Uh, if you guys don't know and you're new to my channel, I just had a two weeks trip to visit family in Italy. Uh, so I'm finally back and things are going slowly back to normal. So hopefully I'll have some tutorials soon. Uh, I am just trying to catch up on some unboxings for now um, because I want to have everything situated before I start making things. But uh, even if this one is late, I thought it'd be nice to open on camera. Uh, I do feel like sometimes I don't open stuff on camera and then I just kind of feel bad about it because I think, I think it's still interesting to see uh, what's in these boxes. Maybe it's not you know the most popular videos, but I still like to do them and show what you can get in some of these uh, boxes. So uh, let's just go ahead and open this one up. So when I went on the website to check, yes, this is the August box, but it arrived in, I would say, the mid-September or so. Um, I think I skipped the next box, so I won't get it, but I'll get the one after that. Um, even if it's the Halloween boxes that are really pretty from Jesse James Beads, I have a lot of Halloween stuff still from last year and this year, so I decided to skip it. But let's talk about this uh, box. It's called The Road to Scareborough Fair. Um, and it tells you here what's inside. So we'll go through um, together on what's here. There's also a coupon code down here if you get the box that gives you uh, some, uh, I think, money off a certain amount that you spend. I think it's like $79. Uh, but let's just go ahead and see what's inside here. Okay, so this is the first trend that we get, and it's called uh, Remember Me. And it's a beautiful autumn tone strand with lots of uh, beautiful browns and carnelians. Uh, and then we get some spacers and bead caps that are in bronze. So this is really pretty. I think it's that faux uh, cinnabar, and it's in brown. It almost looks like wood. I love it. But of course, it is resin. But this is an absolutely beautiful little box. Look at this. And I think some of these are actually, like this one right here is stones. Uh, and I believe that this might be carved stone as well. So uh, very, very pretty. So let's just get to the next uh, item. So the next item is called Alchemist Garden. And it's this beautiful strand that has some bead frames. And these look like they are cloisonne beads. Um, so these are really pretty. They have that vintage feel, very renaissance. So I can see the uh, theme of the box is coming through pretty well. So that's what you get. So we get some greens and some blacks, and then we get some copper and some antique gold findings. So I'm kind of fishing out things as they um, come out of the box. So this one is a filigree finding. Uh, it's called the Renaissance Filigree Brass Pendant. So um, it's hollow in the back. It's very classic filigree. Uh, it's very, very thin. You could probably bend it. And uh, if you have a bigger focal, you could bend around it like a stone or anything like that. And it's this beautiful uh, bronze. I really love it. Next, we get the classic chain reaction. Uh, and it's sort of a gold with some blues, greens, blue greens or so. Um, and uh, it has squares and basically rondel beads that are crystal. Uh, I actually haven't used the chain reactions that much, so I really need to try to come up with a way of using them. Um, but I would love to try for sure. Um, for some reason, I have a hard time working with these, but hopefully I can figure something out. Next, we get two charms. They're called Wishes Charm Pair. So let me just open it up to look at it closer. So they're just these wire-wrapped, beautiful charms. And if you look really close... Uh, there's a one of those, um, I forget what they're called, one of those seeds that fly in the wind. I'm sorry, guys, I just it just doesn't come to me right now. But, you know, it's those foofy uh, seeds that you see in the wind floating about. Um, the name escapes me right now. But aren't these pretty? I think these are really gorgeous. You could just add some silver ear wires, and there you go. You got some cute little earrings. Um and they're just really special. They look like marbles. It looks like I was mistakenly sent an extra chain reaction because I don't see it over here. And it's like the exact same one. I guess it was just a little mistake. Hopefully I'm not, you know, missing anything else in this box. But, uh, oh, well, we'll figure out how to use this too. 
Okay, so we get our first big mix, and this is the Scarborough Fair. Uh, I believe that this is the largest of the mixes. So let's just open it up and take a look at it closer. And I just got really close to you guys. I didn't separate everything, but we can take a quick look. So we got some beautiful, uh, almost filigree looking uh, bead caps that are very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm pretty close. Let me get the tray. I'll just show you some things a little bit closer if they're worth looking at. So you can see the detail on this one is very detailed. It's gunmetal. We get a mix of uh, more silver tone, antique silver tone cone beads, and we get some bronzy gold, but not too gold, more bronze. We get some copper bead caps, and then we get some beautiful crystals. We get some sea foam. We get something a little bit more special, which is this, um, this bead that is kind of, uh, I don't know, it has a texture to it. Now, I don't know if this is glass. It feels like glass. So it's very pretty. So that's what you get for this mix, uh, more or less, and some interesting beads that I haven't seen before. I mean, look at these. These are very unique. Uh, I can't even tell you what shape they are. Uh, we also get some charms in there that are silver, and we get some, um, there's a charm, and then we also get some uh, little rings that are braided, almost like in a Celtic fashion. So uh, some of the usual rectangles that we get and the large crystals from Jesse James. Let's just move on to the next one. We also get a smaller selection of beads. that's called Folk Tales and Fables. So let's just open this one up. So as you can see, we get another kind of mix that is interesting. We get some of these beautiful little tiny crystals that are in the shape of flowers. We get like four of those. We get some more teals and some blues as long, along with little um, flower bells. Uh, we get a selection of different connectors, some flower connectors. So this one is very uh, different, you know, it contains very different beads. We have some copper right there. We have some rose gold right there over there, some silver findings. And then we have this really interesting beads that I haven't seen before. Uh, let me just grab a couple. Maybe I can show you closer. They're almost like velvet. They're basically like cloth beads. So uh, these are very interesting. Some pearls and we get a selection of peach, uh, but also some uh, really light lavender and purple. So it's a very, very um, interesting mix. We get little birds. Uh, so yeah, it looks very eclectic. So that was this mix. The next thing we get is a clasp assortment. It says join clasp. So let's open it up. And this is what we get. We get a clasp that is a rose clasp that is on the copper, anti-copper side. We get one that is more of a bronze. We get a gold one with little tiny crystals, uh, rhinestone encased in it. So that makes them a little bit special. It looks like a frame. We get a beautiful uh, antique looking clasp that is more of a um, star looking uh, with a flower in the center and is one of those classic clasps that are like that. And we get a hook clasp that is very interesting. I really like this one. Uh, so yeah, that's what you get. Uh, I think it's a pretty good selection of clasps. The next thing inside the box is called a song book leather pendant. So it's more than one, it's actually two. And it looks really cool. So let's open it up. And there you go, you guys. These are beautifully leather tooled uh, drops that you can use for earrings because they're very light. And it doesn't matter what side you use them on because they are ornate on both sides. So these are very nice. And you can always add something, maybe like wire wrap extra crystals to make them a little bit more special or make them on your own. You could even sew if you want it, like something in the middle. If you're good with bead weaving, I think it would be interesting to uh, maybe bead weave a crystal and then maybe uh, attach it uh, as an embroidery piece. I think that would be really cool as well. I think these are gorgeous. So the next thing we get is actually a chain mail and it looks like it comes with findings. So let's open it up and look at it closer. So there you go. So you can look at close at this chain mail. It's very, very pretty. Um, and you can just attach these with glue at the end. Of course you can cut it and they include it like four different of these findings uh, that attach to this so you can cut the chain and use these as you wish. I think that's great. So you can maybe maybe a necklace, a partial necklace, and maybe a bracelet or something like that. I think that's great. So the last item we get is called King and Queen of the Fair Pearl Assortment. Uh, so we see some pearls through, but we see more things in there. So let's just open up and take a look. So there you go, you guys. So we get some tealy pearls in various sizes. We get some crowns. Uh, I think these are beads because I see a hole on each side. 
So these are actually quite interesting. I don't think I have anything like that. Uh, and we get a main gun medal as well as this antique gold. And then we get some silver crowns and then we get some gold crowns. So you have your choice of what medals you want. So if you don't like the gold, you can still use the silver and the gun medal. Uh, you can set the gold aside and maybe just sell it to someone, somebody else or make jewelry for somebody else that likes gold. Uh, but yeah, that's just an idea that I think it's great. You don't have to use all the beads. You don't have to use all of the, uh, you know, metals if you don't like them. You could always do a group and maybe like just resell it and destash it. Um, I like all metals and I like mixing them because they give you more texture and more interest. And I feel when you mix the metals, uh, it doesn't really matter what your skin tone is because it won't pick up just one metal. It'll pick up several and it'll just kind of match. I know that sounds strange, but that's the style of Bohemian jewelry. It's very random and very cool. So um, I think it's good to use the metals together personally, but you know, it's up to you. But let me get everything together so we can look at it um, all together and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, there you go, you guys. This is the whole box. Uh, once again, the Road to Scarborough Fair. So it's a very heavily Renaissance, medieval, I would say it even, uh, box. I would call it medieval for sure. Uh, inspired anyways. However, I have to say that uh, this lends very well itself to, uh, you know, the Bohemian style because it's very uh, varied. However, it's not so varied that you can't combine things. I do like that they included different metals. Once once again, sometimes the Jesse James beads boxes can be heavy on the gold. However, I think that this time they really did give you a variety to work with because they gave you some gun metal and they gave you some, uh, you know, antique golds and bronzes and coppers uh, and this beautiful velvety Renaissance looking, you know, mixes. Uh, I really enjoyed all of it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, well thought out in a very uh, bohemian manner, I should say. So I think this is really fun to play with. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a challenge. I do find Jesse James bead boxes very challenging to work with. However, I have to say I have made some of the most interesting jewelry um, that you could find. I'll show you a couple of pieces uh, before we wrap it up. So you can get an idea because I feel like sometimes I don't share my Jesse James, um, you know, creations and it, they do take a while. I don't make them all in one month. Sometimes I space them out throughout time. So maybe I can show you a couple of things that you can do. Hang on one second. So I wanted to show you some pieces that I made with last month's box. I believe it was the July box, really. Um, Jesse James is a little bit behind because they've been having problems with uh, the processing because a lot of the things that they make they get them custom made in China they do design their pieces but they can they get them made in China so it takes a while for them but this was from the Van Gogh box and you can see these are very beautiful earrings all of these findings came in the box uh, I even used the jump rings from the chain that they had included um, and this just turned out so cute minimalist and yet so bohemian so that's one example uh, I have made, I think, four or five pieces, but I only have three right now, so I'll just show you these uh, three pieces. That's one of them. Then I've also made these earrings uh, with findings that were in the box, this beautiful kind of Adelweiss, I believe, some flower-looking things, and then the uh, classic Van Gogh paintings, and they paired up so well. And as you can see, I am using, uh, you know, sort of a mix, like there's some, um, these are like enamels, and these are just uh, silver tone but they work well together for that bohemian look. And these are gonna be very unique because not very many people are gonna have these. You know what I mean? So you could sell these as very unique items because they are very, uh, you know, limited editions. Uh, once the boxes sell out, you don't get them anymore. And Jesse James uh, does very specific things with his boxes uh, that are only made in these boxes. So you definitely get one of a kind. Um, and if you make something different than these is definitely one of a kind because nobody else is going to have it. But it's, this is just to give you an idea. So those were the earrings that are made. And let's just move on to a necklace I made that I'm still working on. There's a couple of things that I want to change about it. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Okay, I know this is kind of a weird necklace, but I went all out. So I made this tassel with my own sari silk. And I used my own bead cap. But then everything else, like these beads right here, these are Jesse James. And then this is mine, but I wire wrapped a lot. So I use a variety of techniques. 
All of these are Jesse James beads. Um, and this one I made myself. I kind of wrapped a crystal from the Jesse James bead box and I added and stacked and glued some bead caps. And I just decided that I wanted something a little different and that I wanted to make my own bead with their beads. And then you can see the um, connector from that chain that they had. And this one was my own bead, I think. But, you know, I just try to mix it up. You don't have to just use Jesse James bead. You can use your own too. This one was two separate flowers from Jesse James in the box. And I just kind of stacked them together to make one interesting flower. So this is a very bohemian piece. This is leather. And this one adjusts. And I added some crystals in the back. So this is an adjustable necklace. Um, and it's pretty long, so it can be used for several, you know, sized nets. And I really loved how it turned out. It is super unique, and I don't think anybody else is going to have this exact thing. So um, that's what I love about these boxes. They really allow you to play and challenge yourself and, you know, uh, use things a little bit differently. Uh, now, this one, the thing that I have to change is this particular part. I have to kind of redo it because I kind of messed it up. These are more even. Uh, but, you know, it's little things. It doesn't take very long. So I'll just use some Chinese cord to, you know, add this light clasp, this macrame is light, light clasp. And I really loved how everything turned out. Uh, all these connectors are mine because I have a ton of them. And I just wanted to make something a little bit funky and different. And I just love how this turned out. So I hope that this gave you an idea on how you can use these uh, items and have some fun. I really enjoy this tassel. It's very nice to touch too with the silk. So uh, let me get back, back to the other uh, box so we can uh, close it up. Okay, guys, this is it one more time. Uh, so I would like to know in the comments below if you did like this box and if you get it on the regular or if you're like me, um, you can't skip your subscription. Uh, I signed up for a year, but every once in a while, I just skip it. They let you do that just to let you know. You just, you just go under your subscription and they uh, have a button where it says you can skip a renewal. You can pause the subscriptions. And sometimes I do that if I feel like I'm overwhelmed and I have too many beads coming in. But uh, I really enjoyed this box. So uh, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, once again, thank you for being here. Have a great day and lots of crafting time for yourself. Bye, guys.